Okay guys, the last thing we're going to cover today is the addition of wingtip extensions or ferry tips. As you can see here on the wing on the Air Race Harrier we've fitted this dark green wingtip extension. This is uh, back to Air Race spec. These were fitted in 1969 for the Air Race and it's one of the only times we know of where these ferry tips were fitted in service use. They're quite significantly bigger than the original tip which is known as a combat tip. I've got one of those behind me. This is the Harrier GR3 wingtip which we removed uh, from this aircraft. This was fitted when it was a GR3 and um, it's identical to what's fitted on a C Harrier, C Harrier FRS1, FA2, Harrier T4 or T8. They all have the same wingtip extension. I'll hold that up just so you can see the difference between a ferry tip and a combat tip. If my cameraman can manage to get himself up the ladder without falling off so you guys can see the size difference. The Harrier ferry tip is around 18 inches longer than the combat tip. The ferry tip gives the wing more lift and uh, gives it extended range. The combat tip is smaller uh, but it makes the aircraft more manoeuvrable uh, when the aircraft uh, manoeuvres aggressively or rolls left and right for example there's less wind resistance when the wing moves up and down through the airflow so the combat tip makes the aircraft more manoeuvrable the ferry tip increases lift and makes the wing much more fuel efficient hope you guys have found that interesting and i'll catch up with you later thanks